then we run into the centralization problem. What happens when intelligence gets centralized the way that banking did? A world where intelligence is rented and not owned, where it's accessed and not actually possessed, where it could be metered and not autonomous. This is why smaller, modular, memory-centric, and diffusion-based models matter, because they enable distributed intelligence. A world where AI runs locally, at the edge, and even offline. This is fundamentally different from a world where every query requires permission from a remote supercomputer. One future is dependent, and the other is sovereign. I'm sure some of you have heard of these arguments. The global division is actually about to widen because countries outside the US and China access are already worried that they'll be locked out of competitive models. And some nations are actually building national LLMs, not out of pride, but out of fear. Fear that a handful of corporations could control language, knowledge, and information flow. And they could do this in the same way colonial powers once controlled trade routes. Now, if decentralized models win, you get small, efficient, memory-enabled or diffusion-based systems. You get almost a second internet. Intelligence as an exportable good, not a centralized dependency. But on the other hand, if the frontier AI remains purely bigger is better, the rest of the world basically becomes an API customer service department.